Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Vex. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, I was rather angry, <laughs> but I managed to climb up this godforsaken tower again. I have six lives because I went ahead and did that stupid thing where I jumped for, you know, my doom. And, um, we're about to try to do this again. Keyword being try. I'm not sure why I decided to torment myself. I am having fun with this game. That's that's kind of the weird point. I have to sell you, jerk. That I am having fun with the game. It's just some of the mechanics aren't as smooth as they probably should be. Thank you. What can I say except I hate that guy? Okay. And, um, even trying to get back up that tower, knowing exactly what it is that I need to do to get back up that first part of the tower, is a giant pain in the ass. Because not everything is as smooth as butter. In this game, which is reasonable because it is old, it is a 2003, 2003 video game. Keep that in mind. And I need to keep this in mind because if I don't keep this in mind, then I just need to, you know, not play it. There's a lot of games that came out in 2000, 2003 that I really enjoy. I just can't name them off the top, off the top, bleh, 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 off the top of my head right now. Because currently I'm trying, I'm, I'm looking down into the abyss. Whoop. All right, and right around here, I hate these kind of puzzles. They're not my favorite. The ones where you're pretty much just waiting for the path to be revealed to you. I dislike it in Legend of Zelda games. I just have a general distrust of them. In general. Haha. <laughs> but hopefully we will reach this final heart relatively soon. And I can move on to, um... You jerk! I don't know how that happened. I legit have no clue how, uh, how, how, how did that happen? What happened? Was it on? I didn't see the wind blowiness. Oh. oh okay. See the worst part of this climb back up isn't necessarily the climb itself. It's having to do the whole <sighs> invisible bullshit all over again. And then I got something up there that's trying to kill me. Par for the course in this game, I know. I wonder if I can't just get to the... Yeah, why don't I just do that? I'll get to the f second corner of this little Invisitrail here. And see if I can't just... Could I jet my way over there? If I'm super careful about it. Like right around here. Aha! Can I do the same over here and avoid that? Aha! Speed running tricks! <laughs> oh! Hello! Big mashy things. Thanks for the health. Is there not a, um. Okay. 
Really? You know what? Let's deal with you first. Get my health back a little bit. Get that health. Yeah. Guess who feels like they're make oh god, it's faster. Okay. Wait for the thing to go down. Whoop! Yes! I am... I kind of hate that I'm getting relatively good at this. Oh, ah. Hand-eye coordination, bitches! Okay. Oh god, it's this thing again. Oh, and the platforms are smaller. Good. I love that the platforms are smaller. Okay. Nope, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Oh. <laughs> Screw this level. Oh. All right, what's what sort of final? <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. That was in the the last level that um, this noise was on too. All right, and did it? Oh my god! Screw that tower! Screw that tower with the goddamn. I don't know, a rusty axe. <laughs> uh, I know it's only going to get worse. At times, maybe. But I can, I can, I'm going to relish this victory. It's a good victory. It's amazing what a night's sleep in, um... Not being only awake by the gentle graces of coffee can do to you. Okay. So that's that's all of those two areas, right? Never have to go... I, I'm gonna... I don't want to say I never have to go back to Dragon's Reach again. Because I had to go back to Timberdale in order to go through to the next area of Dragon's Reach. The Neverglaves. Sorry, Neverglades. I say glaives. Relics wrecked, lay and rot. What mystery transpired? Heads up, mind this caveat. Some assembly required. Okay. A drop into a well is fo followed by a splash. But where the fish are fell, electric is their lash. This age-old citadel did time and sand devour its hazards you must quell to scale its inner tower. Yay, another tower climbing. The temple of Nanyek Nanik 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 eh, lies buried in the sand. Head head up to make three clicks and try for one last stand. Shadowed Alcove through a game of gatherings, collecting more than a few to win at temple rings. Another dark coven cavern floats here, floats heart teasingly so near to get high above the moats. Hope flying's not your fear. Okay. So that one's going to be a flight one. Overshadowed pools and gloom lifeless eyes are dark. In sockets, fire will bloom if lightning there does arc. I'm reading these weird. An ancient temple wall can contains a mystery. Return before the fall and join its history. Alright. When hearts it burst asunder yeah, okay. Um I mean let's get a lay of the land first. Get them one hundred shards. Hopefully. The Neverglades. Never been. E <laughs> Oh, it's like a jungle temple situation. All right. Not too shabby of a look 
for it. Oh, those things didn't... That thing didn't flinch when I punched it. Oh, they shrink when you smash them. Okay. Is that their method of getting away from me? Wait, did the... Did this thing mention anything about soul jars? Anything in this level at all mentions sh soul jars. I don't think it made mention about soul jars. Huh. Interesting. So they do change it up some. It's not just, oh, hey, do these same three things and a couple of other things that are based specifically around this level. Oh, good. An instant drop off to death. I hate it. All right. I mean, this level's much like every other level so far, this level is pretty damned big. I think it's just, uh... I want to stay out of the water. Because screw the water physics in this game. Ow, but then they... I say that and then I realize, oh, they put a few shards in the water, so... Uh, lucky me, I guess. Is this one of those wells that the game was talking about? I'm gonna be saddened. Hello. So I forgot to mention back in Timberdale that we can actually punch those graves and we'll get a little bit of life energy back. A little about near a rock. Is Dwayne Johnson here? A rock joke. Okay. Let's try avoid going into the water for the time being, if only because I really, really don't want to die to fish. Um, that guy is a lot tougher than its predecessors. Wait. My controller is vibrating, which only me... What? Vex, please. Which only means that there is, in fact, a heart close by. Hmm. I am both into and not into the idea of getting that heart right now, simply because I am already a good chunk of the way to getting the one based on- Whoop. I was thinking shoot fire out of it, but... Cool. Hmm. Okay. Wait, that that counts as far enough of a fall that I take damage from it. What's this? Oh, a thing. Um. All right. So I think I just did away with the thing that solved a thing. Woo. Man, I was trying to fix the, um... I say fix. It should be relatively easy for you guys to see what the hell's going on on the screen, but... Underwater segments are still kind of a pain for me simply because... It's dirk.
Okay, that's leading to my doom, so let's not go that way. I am at 50 shards. Where do I get the other cabillion tea? Um, I didn't... Sure. <sighs> Swimming mechanics. I'd almost rather that they just worked it kind of like a Mario game, you know? Okay. Yeah, I see the heart. Would it be too much to ask for a ascend and descend button? Okay. I got it. We're good. Behind the waterfall. I hear that heart, but I really don't want to grab it just yet. Okay. Waiting. Is there just just a heart here? Oh, okay. So this is a puzzle of some sort. Good to know. I'm sorry, did I get injured? Eh, whatever. I played this game long enough, you'd think I'd no longer be surprised by the random things that I get injured by. But that's just me, being a dingus. Oh crap, oh crap, nope. No, stop. Don't go down. <sighs> oh, for the love of frick. Well, the good news is I found more of these, so I guess I collect them. I feel like I'm... I don't know. There we go. Boy, howdy. I really suck to fall at this point. Okay, so there's another doohickey. Wait, do I gotta bring those doohickeys back to that statue in the near the beginning is that the idea I think that might be the idea oh. Oh. <sighs> see the stupid part of the swimming mechanic is that you can't use your jet like ability in order to um in order to get your butt over all the bleh, keep moving on the surface you have to do the tapping which is kind of stupid especially when you consider that you know not all controllers work all too good anymore these days all right seems for the final third Son of a... Seems for the final, like, 32, I really need to find... Uh, some place to go into. Maybe one of the wells. Ugh, oh, sorry. I had to rub my nose. Maybe one of the wells that the game was talking about. Belly. Yeah, there's another heart. 
way up there. I really wish that this camera would stop fighting me. <sighs> Maybe I'm just in the wrong area because this area is trying to make it so as I look directly uh, at this statue situation. There we relatively go. Okay, that's another shard. Come on. Get up there. Okay. Bit. Okay, so how do I get up there? Wait. Have I just not been going that way? Although I should probably have gone that way in the first place. Also, pardon for the sniffles. My nose is dry. Oh, yeah. I just didn't go up this ramp. Can I go up this ramp? Alright. Seemed like it was too steep at first, but alright. I'm not going to complain. Too much. Alright, with this I'll only need 25 more. Which means I probably actually need to go into one of the other... Super special areas. Frog. <laughs> uh, I love randomly punching those guys while trying to jump into the air. Okay, so 19 after I collect these. So close, guys. So close. Is it night? Okay, there's the flight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting with Darius. How many soul shards can you collect until you collect a heart? It'll be fine. This is the end over here. And one more. Stop that. C come on, Mr. Hart. There we go. I think what happens is that it will... It generates the heart. But it sometimes will generate it right in an area that you can't actually collect it without clearing the area. So. You just gotta clear it out is all. Baby. I wonder if I can collect the one on top of the waterfall beforehand. I got seven minutes after all. So is that 20? I've been able to open that one. 26 is where I open the next, next one. Let's see. Drop into the wells, followed by a splash, but where the fish or fell. Scale an inner tower. And up to make three clicks and try for one last stand. Shadowed alcove through a game of gatherings. Collect more than a few to win temple rings. Or teasingly so near. Get high. Yeah, let's try. Let's do the flight one. I can already tell you that one's probably going to be a ginormous pain in my tuchus. And I generally know already where it is. I think that's actually 
It's actually a pretty decent game design now that I'm thinking about it. Um, where you can go... Alright, I'm going to get the 100 hearts first. And that allows you to explore the... Uh, 100 hearts, 100 shards first. Which allows you to explore the level first off. Go away. Alright, so is it... Is it telling me to grab the heart that's there? I... Oh. Alright. Thanks, glider. For, uh, pushing me in the wrong direction. No, keep going. Come on. All thirteen. No! Oh, no! No! I was so close to it, guys. Ah, uh, dang it! Now I gotta deal with these jank ass water mechanics. Oh, all right. If you're going to push me forward and allow, not allow me to swim, game, just push me forward and don't allow me to swim. Seriously. I... Is my controller messing up on me again? That's what, that's what that felt like right there. Like I was just spinning in the water. Oh, no. I really? That didn't even look like an attack. Alright, sure, fine. I'm definitely getting far, far more use of the mechanics of this game than I... than I kind of feel comfortable with, but at the same time, it's still janky as all balls. I... I will not uh, hold back in saying it is rife with pain. If only because every so often you'll fall through this thing or you'll be hit by this thing and not really know. Alright, come on. I... I had to have hit that. I seem to blitz right through it. God damn it. Yeah, at least I fell in such a way that it's not an absolute pain to get back to the start. Those creatures being the kind that just touch you to kill you is really annoying. I understand. I know that I bitch about that in a lot of video games, but it's especially when it's like um, Legend of Zelda, whatnot. 2D sprite games, it makes sense because, you know, it takes a lot of effort to make like a hitbox and all that fun stuff to make it so as it's all. Oh, yeah, so you got hit by this creature's attack. Especially in earlier ones. But in a 3D game, based around platforming, it's a little hard to accept. Oh, this this thing hit me. All right. Yes. Look at that. New area, two hearts down already. A boo, a yaw. But I doth believe that I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here when it's done doing the whole saving thing. I feel good. I knew that I would now. Cool. 21 hearts. If my hearts were my age, I'd be legally able to drink. Uh, kind of a bad joke. Not even sure it's a joke. Anyways, 
I'm going to go ahead, call an episode here. When we return, we're going to continue going through the Neverglade. Neverglade? Was that the name of it? Burp. Neverglade? Neverglades, that was it. Yes, I was right. And, um, collecting all the hearts that we can tolerate, which is only nine of them in this level, too. Hmm. Funky. Thank you, everyone, so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. I swear I am. Don't let the last episode fool you. I'm having fun. Uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.